Wait, what? Come on, no! Come on, Bahman is no longer considered as Bengal as a rival. I, I was hoping. Ah, come on. I need Bengal with a lot. If, if Bahman is now allies, Bengal, then I'm pretty much screwed. Uh, and I should take very careful uh, note of my loans. 34 bank loans. How many do I have now? Three. And I don't get why their war enthusiasm isn't dropping. I mean, their capital is occupied. But but still, if I can uh, fully occupy a enemy 100%, that, then they'll uh, accept no matter what piece. Uh, I'll offer. Then I can shove pretty much anything down their throat. <sighs> How exactly do I say uh, Utrecht? Well, in Dutch it's Utrecht. 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 Basically, in Dutch it's Utrecht. Utrecht. But uh, I suppose in English I would say Utrecht or something like that. Uh, my, my English accent, uh, I would actually, yeah, I'm not going to go into my accent, never mind. You thought I was uh, from the United States based on my foreign post, cool spin says? No, I'm not. I'm from Belgium and Europe, east of uh, the UK, uh, between the Netherlands and France. Bengal is ping-ponging again. <laughs> Sanvi is moving out God knows where again. Oh, shit, they came back. Well, are you afraid of engaging these guys or something, you'd say? Man, I don't get the AI. Arissa has announced John Pure as their new rival. You gotta be kidding me. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, as soon as two nations border each other and you ally, and then they go switching rivals. Now I really can't uh, ally Arissa and John Pure because, uh, yeah, they are, they are a rival of one another. Still, it might work. I've did it before, allying nations that are uh, rival of each other. But this tells me I, I should go for uh, Lana and John Pure as, as, an, uh, as an ally and maybe kill Orissa with the help of John Pure because they are their rival. Oh, wait, no. They didn't rival them back yet. Did I? No, oh, they did. No. No, they didn't. I'm looking at the wrong thing. But still, that, that's basically why the. the the AI keeps on changing rivals, the AI keeps on uh, changing out stuff, especially in India. I mean, the, you will see alliances uh, dissolving and get new ones being created and stuff. Nah. And see, they are always changing their mind. There we go. Now this uh, is done also. Oh wait. I can't even move here before this fort is down. I'm go just gonna stay here and let some garrison build up in the forts. Because uh, if I leave now and Bengal arrives, then... Uh, yeah, they will insta-siege the, the, the garrison. Because of the low garrison, they will insta-siege it back within a month. So yeah, come on, Bengal. <laughs> and the AI really has no clue. Um, okay, but this tells me I should move my, my, uh... Oh. Where is my one? Oh, he's here. I should move... Wait. Wait, what? I can move here, but I can move... Oh, man. Access rules. Don't get me started. So these... Oh, now the, now you can? I'm pretty sure a moment ago you I couldn't go there. Don't get me started on access rules. Oh, uh, well... But there's no reason why I should move Lana down there, really. Well, that said, they got two. Uh, one. Yeah, I should move Lana there and then my troops out again. <laughs> if, if these guys don't engage me, then, uh, then I'll laugh so hard if I finish the siege on Laza. I'll laugh so hard. I don't have a siege here. Uh, an artillery here, I mean. He's <laughs> moving into Bataan again. Man, AI. Sod it. I'm probably gonna say that like 100 times uh, an hour sometimes. Man, AI. 
If you don't watch it the way I do, you will say, yeah, they, I, they, they are pretty smart, but if you watch AI the way I do, you can see uh, there's really silly stuff going on sometimes. So yeah, it, it might be possible I, I can enforce in a 100% peace deal on a send me now. I mean, they are close to be... Oh, wait. So, so I can occup... Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta go around. Uh, so these guys are moving there. Uh, yeah, you go there. And you go there. Yeah, now we send. No, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done it. Now they will. That will come all. No, if Advix, you're doing it wrong, man. I really hope I get the after eight days. I I, I siege this up. No, you shouldn't go down there. Yeah, let's see what he does. If he attacks into mountains, I'll say be my guest. Wait, what? Uh, now he changed his mind and he went there. Oh, man. Never mind. 2nd of June. Huh. So, uh, after being uh, a kind hearted guy, this guy also is a charismatic ne negotiator. Well, that's pretty good for getting alliances. I won't complain. Yep, and by the way, the internal conflicts went away again. Okay, 2nd of June. Yeah, <laughs> Sammy is moving out again. <laughs> they are afraid. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, no, but... Yes, man. A 100% peace deal on the Sammy. Uh, here I come. If they are still... Yeah, th their warranty jamming is dropping. The, uh, like it should, really. Okay, so I should move in on my capital again, get after these guys are out. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able. Probably next month. But I, no. I should send some guys and siege this up. Um. While I protect uh, my f occupied forts. And these guys, yeah, well, 15. How much? 14. Damn it. Yeah, you go there. Then you go there. Okay, yeah. Up north there's a war brewing also. Oh, and now it's the Timur... Ah, man, I should have placed a 1k here, do should didn't I? Yeah, damn it. Is there a gear, their army? Yeah, their army is wiped. So if I can stall the war with you saying I can still annex your Serigyo gear, their army is wiped. But I, this tells me I should place a 1k there. Huh. There they come again. No, 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 no. Yeah. Ava is there, so yeah, never mind. They won't engage it. I really hope that uh what's this? Diplomatic move yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good event. Because I will get uh oh man, this is really good. Ming San Shirigir, Chang Bengal, Ava and Ascendi. Ava, especially because that's a possible. Uh... Still, do I want the diplomatic power or the? Yeah, 25 more. Uh... This is actually the the green one because we are a charismatic negotiator. Yeah, I'll take this. 25 diplomatic power less, but I get plus 50 with. Uh... That's actually good for coalitions and stuff. Yeah, I'll do it. We are a diplomatic superpower. Manipur is a diplomatic superpower. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'll take it. If you say so, game, I'm a diplomatic superpower. Uh, these event descriptions sometimes. 
I should really uh, occupy my capital as soon as possible. Oh, hi there, Zenon. Uh, Zenon. Uh, Zenon Ria. Zenon era. Big fan of your of your EU four runs. Yeah, I'm a big fan of my runs myself. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. We're about to uh, to win a war. Well, maybe win a war against all this. Well, here's to hoping at least. And you'd saying, I don't get you. Why aren't you engaging me? Just Zeno or Xenon Rex, okay, thank you. Xenonero, yeah, yeah. You 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 made some posts in my after action reports, if you I think. Or you got a pretty similar name to some guy on Paradox forums. Yeah, now these guys are going up again, what are they up to? If I can occupy this guy 100% then he's toast, then I can do a 100% peace deal no matter where his troops. It's quite possible that I can do a 100% peace deal on the enemy without actually having fought him a single time. Huh. Yeah, he, he's, he's so he's so dead. So yeah, I, I should start uh, worrying what will I take from... Uh, Okay, so I should probably use uh, this guy. Go there. <sighs> mm, yeah, I gotta retake my capital. The, the, the war exhaustion is killing me. So, I so uh, uh, but the thing is, uh, if I if I separate piece this guy, then he gets way more. Uh, I made that mistake already, I shouldn't do it again. So. Then he gets any, yeah, then he'll get a lot more war uh, war score on me. So yeah, I gotta stall this, uh, this peace deal. Lucky I remember that. Until my capital is received. Okay, fair enough. Let's just uh, move in into our capital. I don't know. If, if, if he's going God knows where here, or is he moving here? Maybe he's moving. He's moving into Laza. Here's to hoping then, and uh, that I will occupy uh, Laza before he arrives. He's going there. Ava, yeah, I should move you one province at a time, and then all the rest of these guys. Yeah, you can uh, go there. Oh wait, I forgot my missionary. Uh, yeah, but without uh, Garza, let's see. Where is that? Garza? 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 Ah, there. Yeah, I don't have 15, 31. When was the last? Uh, oh, God. When was the last? I'm not sure anymore. Is, is this. Uh, no, it's still missionary failure. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll just start it on guards then. I won't get po no, I won't get positive anytime soon. <coughs> when exactly am I able to? Uh, yeah, 1503. Hmm. That's a long while away. <laughs> He's moving north for God knows why. I was fully expecting them f to go from Markham to Nyingchi to attack these guys. I'm not even sure what he's up to. I mean, he is not at war. He is not at. These guys aren't at war with the Timurids. Why is he going up here? Oh well, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to move him now, didn't I? Okay, 18th of August. 24th, okay, I'll be out. Uh, 24th, can I move you? No, I gotta wait. Might be silly to do all this extensive micromanaging, but it's simply the way I do. You can fully expect this war, and it'll be like 10 hours maybe for uh, fighting a war that lasts only 5 years, but it's worth it. If I can win versus Bengal and do a 